Hello everybody, this is a Blender quick tip uh, section and this one is about snapping and how to use the snap tools in Blender. Uh, at the bottom of your viewport down here you will see uh, you'll see some icons. There's a magnet and uh, a, a drop down list here and the magnet is what will turn on snapping or off. Um, I prefer to actually just leave it off and you can use the control key while you are dragging to enable it. So if I want to move this in the Y direction here, I can hit G and Y, and I'm moving it. And if I hit Control, uh, it will start snapping snapping that. Now, this was at zero to begin with, and so I can see my, my updates are going one, two, three, four. Um, if this was off a little bit, and here it's at 0.471, uh, now if I hit G, Y, and if I hit Control, you can see that it's moving in even increments uh, from 1.47 to 2.47, 3.47. Uh, if you want to have it snap to actual grid increments, you can turn on absolute here, and that's this next icon right here. And when that is turned on, now when I move this, even though I start at 0.47, uh, once I hit control, it will it will snap to uh, the the grid, and you'll get even numbers there. So the next snapping would be instead of by increments it would be by vertice and what you're allowed to do here is I can just I'll duplicate this and um, what I'll do is I'll just hit hold down control Whoop, I have another thing turned on from previous tutorial um, <clears throat> if I move this over and pr press on the corner here so hit the corner and I will get the snap and I will do that again uh, and you can see that. Now what happens here is it will snap to the closest uh, from where it came from. So let's say I have a cube here and I want to put it up on top of these three cubes. There's there's one in the middle here and I want to align this perfectly on top. Um, if I actually just grab this and try to do my snap it's not going to put it where I want to uh, because I I really need it to go from this from this bottom one here and what's happening is it's picking the the closest the closest one so the easiest thing to do here is just take it move it roughly into position and now I'll just go back into shaded mode here now when I when I do my snap it'll snap it uh, correctly because it's it's the closest match <coughs> um, let's see uh, you can also do edges faces uh, faces are very useful uh, if you have a if you have a uh, object that's uh, maybe it's rotated in space and maybe you don't know what angle this is because the transform has been collapsed but you want to put something right on that surface um, very easy to to do this we um, will change this to face mode and uh, I'm just going to turn this on which is aligned to the normal and now if I drag over here and I hold down my control key for turning on snap you can see that it'll snap right to that surface uh, whatever surface I'm on, it will it will snap that object to there. So that is quite handy. Uh, finally, one other thing is uh, you can use constraints. So if I am dragging this cylinder, and you can see here that this cylinder is is not at the same height as as this box. Uh, if I want to drag that up, uh, say that just the top faces, and I want to move them and I can constrain that to Z uh, and I want to get them right up even with this uh, what I can do is I can say let's constrain to vertex and uh, let's um, let's go ahead and do that we'll go G Z and then I'll snap to that and it will actually snap it right to that height but it won't snap it over it'll only uh, constrain the Z uh, finally another tool you can use with snapping is automatic welding of vertices. So if I have this cube and I'm snapping in vertice mode and what I can do here is if I'm in edit mode I get this icon and this will force these vertices to merge together. So if I get them close uh, I move these together and snap uh, they will actually disappear and I will just have one point there and I could do that to alter my geometry uh, how I need and I could just add a new line here if I wanted 
and that's how you can create different shapes and move points around. Uh, that's it for this one. Thank you.